It's 28 days of President Tinubu's presidency, and we're monitoring developments closely in this first 100 days in office. Thank you for joining us on the program. I am Nifebi Ogunto. Remember, you can join the conversation now on Twitter if you use the hashtag first 100 days and also tag at TVC News NG. Uh, let's begin with updates from the presidency. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has now approved the renaming of 15 of the country's airports from after the former president, uh, Mohamedou Buhari, as well as other prominent Nigerians. Let's run through it quickly. Akura Airport is now named after Olumuiwa Bernard Aliu, Benin Airport, Oba Kenzua II, Dutse Airport, Mohamed Nuhu Sanusi, and um, Eboin Airport is named after Chuba W. Or Katigo. Gombe Airport is named after Brigadier Zakari May Malari. And in um, southwest Nigeria, Ibadan Airport is named after Samuel Ladoke Akintola. Lorry Airport, General Tunde Diagon Kaduna uh, Airport, Hassan Usman Kasina. The Maduguri Airport is now named after former President Mohamedou Buhari. And Makodi Airport, Joseph Sawan Tarka. Mina Airport, Malam Abubakar Imam, Nasarawa and Usubi, uh, named after Sheikh Usman Danfodio and Aphrodite Spieth, respectively. Putakod Airport um, has Obafemi Awulowo as its new name, and Yola Airport, Lamido Aliyu Mustafa. Also today, the Vice President Kashim Shatima decorated the new Controller General of the Nigeria Customs Service, Adewale Adeniyi, describing his appointment by President Bola Tinubu as a morale booster for officers in the service. The Vice President said this at a brief ceremony witnessed by the Chief of Staff to the President, Femgaja Biamila, at the Presidential Villa. He congratulated the new customs boss for bringing professionalism back to the Nigerian Customs Service and rekindling the hope of every customs officer to aspire to reach the pinnacle of his our profession. We are going to be professional in our approach. Uh, there are a number of uh, partners, stakeholders that we are going to be working with. It's a very onerous task for the customs, but we believe that we will be working alongside other stakeholders, uh, other partners, uh, that we have identified who yearn to work with us, uh, who felt that they've not been given enough, uh, uh, enough say in customs matters, customs operations. So we intend to come up with a number of innovations that would help to uh, carry along uh, those stakeholders, those partners. Uh, we're going to leverage technology. We're going to try and use those innovative technologies to break new grants in customs operations. Well, Customs now has a seven officer as its um, uh, 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 controller general, and there's a lot of buzz about that new development, particularly when you consider that the House of Reps earlier in the year, uh, you know, uh, uh, sponsored a bill to limit um, the CG appointment to seven Customs officers. Let's speak to our State House correspondent, Femi Akonde who joins me live from Abuja. I mean, this list of um, new names of airports have been trending for a couple of days now. Talk to us about what you're hearing about it. Yes, um, it was from a memo sent by, released by the Ministry of Aviation, having gotten approval from President Paul Atenobu to rename these airports after illustrious uh, citizens of Nigeria who have distinguished um, themselves in service. I know it's um, normal for uh, the federal government at uh, any given time to rename uh, uh, critical um, national institutions or uh, critical national facilities or monuments after uh, illustrious citizens. One, as a way of um, immortalizing um, those that have passed and also... Uh, in the legacy and uh, also uh, celebrating the achievements of people who have distinguished themselves in service at the country. And this would also give uh, people in different parts of the country a sense of uh, belonging, promoting national inclusion. And this is um, one of the things that President Polatino has said that his administration will uh, maintain and so that everybody has that sense of belonging. Everyone is carried along. Look mm -hmm. at the spread of um, the uh, 
uh, the people who who have been of the people who the airports have been named after from different um geopolitical zones. Some of them are having served the country in different capacities at uh, different uh, points in time in the country's uh, history. So you know uh, we expect or what we expect in the coming days is for. Um, that to take effect, we expect to see the time post at all of these uh, airports being changed. We expect to see uh, new uh, time posts and a whole lot of um, time for billboards and all of that is signifying the names of these uh, new airports as directed by the president. Mr. Amin.